method for administering eye drops place the patient in a comfortable position either sitting or lying down semi prone or recumbent with his or her head supported hands should be washed before and after applying eye drops to avoid cross infection and to remove drug residue from the hands some local policies require the use of non sterile gloves when administering eye drops or ointment as well as the use of an aseptic non touch technique for the first post operative dressing and application of eye drops cleaning the eye may be necessary for example if the eyelids have crusty or purulent deposits non woven or cotton swabs dipped in cooled boiled water or sterile saline solution should be used to clean the lids cotton wool is contraindicated when there are sutures on the skin verify that you are using the appropriate eye drops and that they are not expired to ensure that the medication is thoroughly mixed gently shake the bottle before using inform the patient that the drops will sting briefly when administered inject the eye drop into the fornix created by gently lowering the lower lid request that the patient look up to ensure that the eye drop does not land directly on the sensitive cornea after applying the eye drop close the eyelid and dab any excess from the cheek with a tissue or swab to prevent the drug from wicking away from the eye avoid holding the tissue too close to the eye when multiple drops and or ointment are prescribed for one or both eyes the order of administration is critical to ensure that each has the greatest therapeutic effect each drug requires only one drop any more will cause overflow onto the cheek to achieve the greatest therapeutic effect each eye drop should be administered 5 minutes apart closed eye technique it is a technique for patients who find it difficult to have drops injected directly into their eyes such as children or the elderly request that the patient lie flat or with their head tilted back apply a drop of medication to the closed eyelid in the nasal corner once the drug has entered the eye instruct the patient to gently open and close it how to apply eye ointment determine why the eye ointment was prescribed it could be for something other than the eye such as an eyelid wound hands should be washed before and after applying ointment to avoid cross infection and to remove drug residue some local policies require the use of non sterile gloves when administering routine eye ointments as well as the use of an aseptic non touch technique for the first post operative dressing and application of eye ointment if the ointment is prescribed for the eye insert a thin ribbon into the lower fornix and ask the patient to close their eyes it may take a few moments for the ointment to melt and spread over the eye it may initially cause some blurring of vision wipe away any excess from the eyelids when a patient is prescribed eye ointment it is customarily necessary to clean the eyelids before proceeding with the next treatment if patients want to apply their own ointment but find the ribbon technique awkward have them squeeze a blob of ointment into the lower fornix it is critical to ensure that the patient is not allergic to any of the ingredients in the eye drops or ointment before using these check the eye and eyelids for signs of improvement or deterioration in the latter case medical attention should be sought immediately eye drops are wasted when they are used incorrectly many common conditions are treated with eye drops they can be used to treat itchy or tired eyes caused by allergies 
they may be used to treat viral or bacterial infections as well as other conditions such as glaucoma. When eye drops are not used correctly, the full benefit of the medication may not be realized. If the drop does not land directly on the eye, it will roll down the cheek or into the tear duct, resulting in waste. To form a pocket, pinch the lower lid slightly and pull it down and out. 